Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about breadth first traversal and depth first traversal in Java. So let's get started. Uh, basically, I have a sample tree that I want to traverse, and uh, let me kind of walk you through uh, uh, how this can be done. Uh, basically, I have a class node uh, which uh, symbolizes an individual node. It has a left and a right, which is stored here, and a data. And I provided two constructors. One constructor is if you just provide the data, then it just sets the data. And the left and right is going to be null. And the other case is you can construct a node object by giving it the data, the left and the right. So just to um, um, get the sample tree like this up, I'm using uh, this piece of code, uh, which is basically calling node. So it calls a node with an A, then it puts in a left of B and E. and uh, for the bot B, you can add C and D. Under uh, E, you can add F and G. And then you can add node H, and there is nothing else on this. Okay. So this would create a sample uh, tree that I can use for traversal. I want to just traverse uh, this by saying breadth first search and traversal of the tree. So let's just take a quick look of uh, uh, this uh, algorithm and see uh, what it does. It's pretty straightforward uh, for a breadth first traversal. The way you travel is you go to the first level, then you go to the B, E, then you go C, D, F, G, and then to the last level. So it goes level by level. So that to traverse that, we use uh, the queue uh, from Java. So we declare a queue and uh, the concrete type in this case we are going to use is the list. It could be any one of the concrete types that implement the queue interface. So first thing we do is basically take the node and add it to the queue. And then we do a while loop saying while queue is not empty. First thing inside the while loop is we do is uh, remove that particular node and print it out. And uh, if the left node is not null, we put it onto the queue. And if the right node is not null, we put it onto the queue. And that's pretty much uh, how this works. So if you want to kind of see uh, this in action. Let me uh, just uh, go through the debug statement so you can kind of see it uh, going through. If you see first time around, it's going to print A. Then it's going to put B and E on the queue. And then it's going to dequeue uh, this element B. So it's going to print B. And then when it goes through this, uh, it has already queued uh, uh, E, so it's going to take that out and print E. And then you can see it goes to C, D, F, G, and H. And that's how pretty much the, the breadth first traversal works. And uh, that's an example of it. Let me uh, show you another quick uh, traversal that uh, you would find. Uh, and it's called the depth first traversal. And I'm going to uncomment that out right now. And that's actually uh, more uh, simple. Uh, basically, what you do in a uh, depth first traversal is you, uh, if the node is null, you return. And then you can print out the node data. In this case, we'll print out A, for example, if you're getting into this kind of a tree. And then you recursively travel to the node left and to the node right. And uh, you can see the, and let me just kind of show you uh, how that uh, will work in terms of printing out things. And uh, I have it, uh, just basically started it. So first thing it prints is A, obviously. And then it's going to recursively go on B and E. Then it's going to go recursively B. And then it will go into C. And you can see it goes into the left side of the tree. And then essentially goes to the right side of the tree, D. And then it's going to come over back in, into E. And then go into F. And then go into G and then go into H. So that's pretty much uh, how the breadth first and depth first traversal of a binary tree can be done in Java. Thank you for watching this short screencast. If you want to watch this and other videos, uh, you can basically search for Java and uh, I will add that video under there. Okay. Thank you for uh, watching this short screencast and you have a great day.